hello hello it is it's thursday it's 10 44 i'm sitting in the beginning of the car wash hanging out for whatever reason i am in a uh, uh, uh. i just i don't know what is wrong i think i'm going through menopause and i think it's making me crazy honestly i think that i think i'm going crazy my emotions are like boom 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 you know I, I think that's what's happening i'm a little stressed out um thanksgiving is coming up next week i'm going to see my sister I'm, i, I want to wash my car i got to clean my car out i got to get benson um i got to get benson in like for the wound checkup which now um we're just gonna wait until the uh stitches removal which is monday because i just talked to them because they're so booked up um anyway i'm just trying to get all this stuff done i want to clean my car benson um there's horses tonight uh there's something else i don't have i don't have crap to wear i love my sister my sister and I are different. You know, she's very, okay, all right. And I'm drinking great value milk. You see what I'm saying? Like, but I love her to death, okay? She's great. But we're just very different on um, different levels, okay? <laughs> so I'm trying to keep up with my sister and she's, I'm not talking bad about her. I'm not. Um, she has sent me an itinerary <laughs> of our mini vacay, which is going to be great. I haven't seen her in a long time, but I'm doing a mini vacay on a budget, you know, and this is this is Thanksgiving on a budget. Um, so but anyway, I don't have anything to wear. You know, my sister wants to go on this uh, riverboat cru cruise. Um, there's something else that she booked. Uh, there's a couple things that she booked already, but I don't want to look ugly, you know, I want to look nice, but I don't ever really wear anything other than USPS. <laughs> so I don't know, but I'm just a little, I'm getting a little nervous about that because, you know, I want to make sure I'm going down with what I think is sufficient. Okay. All right. Um, anyway, I'm just having a moment. I'm having a moment and I just left Walmart. I got my nails done. You can't see these two nails. Oh my God. I don't know what's going on. Like they're notice. You can't tell. You can't tell. It's not important. Who cares? Right. But these two nails are like jacked up. I don't know what happened. I don't know if somebody took a hammer and beat my nails. I don't know. I don't know. But she told me, my nail lady was like, okay, we'll put these really short nails on. I'll do this. And then when you get back from whatever, we need to take all your nails off and you need to let them breathe because my nails are jacked up because of something I did, which I don't know what I did, but first world problems. So that's that. Um, I think that I'm just a little nerved out because I can't get Benson back into the vet. I was supposed to take him Monday. It slipped my mind, okay? I, ugh, it, and I called, I was like, hey, I'm so sorry. And then I, and then which turns me into a whole thing is like, I have to work. And I know other people work, everyone works. But it's not like I can just be like, okay, I'll see you at two. Okay, with the post office, that's like, rah, rah, rah. you know what I mean? I can't do it, it's hard. And I'm already taking time off next week, so I'm like, damn, I don't wanna try to push it. And I've already got the Thursday, the horse lesson work, I'm sorry. I'm coming at you crazy. I'm just stressed out. I'm stressed out. That's all. I don't even know. I'm sorry I came at you crazy. I hope you're having a good day. Finally, we get to go into the car wash. So hold on a second. Anyway, it's going to work out. Everything's going to be okay. Benson will get sorted out. Um, I'll get myself sorted out. Um, yeah. And then the last couple of days, I know that I haven't vlogged. But I tried to put one up yesterday and it was like, pfft, didn't work out. Anyway, we're in the car wash right now. I'm going to clean up. I'm going to vacuum. My car is a mess. It is a mess. I'll show you. 
I'm gonna get the car done, go home, unload my groceries and stuff, and I guess I'm not taking, I thought I was gonna be able to take Vincent to the vet today, but I guess not, it's okay. Um, anyway, I, I will check back in, I'll show you my car. When I get out of the car wash, I'll show you how dirty it is. I'm home now, fast forward. The car is clean, I unloaded all my groceries, um, and I got this at Walmart. This was 20 bucks. Uh, this is one of my favorite perfumes. It's, you know, it's just a little set. I think this is lotion, shower gel, and then the perfume. But I really like Red Door. Um, I don't know. I just do. Some people say it's like an old lady perfume, but I don't care. I guess, well, maybe I am an old lady. Uh, but anyway, I got that for 20 bucks. There's Benson. Um, he's supposed to be taking it easy, but he's throwing a fit right now. Mm -hmm. um, his bandage is off because it's got to breathe, so we're not going to go up close and personal. But if you can see that spot right there, um, that's where the tumor was, but now it's gone, which is great to not see that thing on his leg. But now that's got to, like, breathe and... But as you can see, he is doing really good. He's got his appetite back. Um, he wants to go for walks, but I'm still only doing, um, you know, the poop and pee. We're not going for crazy walks because that's got to, you know, that's got to heal up. Uh, but it's 1146. I just started some laundry. My hair looks nuts because it's really windy outside. It's 50 degrees. Um, yeah, I'm doing laundry. Uh, anyway, I'm going to sit down and hang out with Benson and wait for this laundry to laundry. Um, and then at 4, we're going to leave and head towards the horse farm. This is what's happening right now. I'm trying to find pants out of all this that are my length and that fit me because they were all crammed up into that that area. So I've got all these shirts, pants, shorts. Um, I don't know. Here's Benson. He's angry. He does not want to be in this thing. These are shirts that I'm going to get rid of or I'm going to use to uh, fix other shirts. Look at this shirt. <laughs> this one went through hell. I had to use a rubber band to close it up. This one was my favorite shirt, but look at it. All my shirts are destroyed. They're all gross. Every single one of them. Like, look at that. They are just disgusting. So that's the pile that's going. Um, now I'm going to try on all these pants and get this organized because it's just too much. I don't need all these pants. Um, because tomorrow the high is 50 and I'm going to be cold. We made it to the horse farm. We are 45 minutes early. I'm in the bathroom uh, in the barn. We got here early because I like to leave at four o'clock because I'm so terrified to cross that bridge and all the traffic that I would rather get here 45 minutes early and sit. Um, usually we're about 30 minutes early, so. But anyway, uh, we're here now and uh, we're just gonna hang out. I don't know, babe. It's kind of fat. It's cute. Can we have a horse? Do you think she's cold? I mean, I think that they keep warm. Obviously, if it's super cold, then they would put blankets on them. <laughs> They're so cute. They've got like six or seven dogs.
It is eight o'clock. I'm home. There's Benson. I have a problem, okay? And I don't know what, I don't know what what is happening. I don't know what's going on, but I have fruit flies. Like, not a crazy amount, but they're, I got enough to be like, what's happening here? And they all are like over here. Now, I don't leave dirty dishes in my sink because I load it up in my dishwasher and I do it every night, whatever. Um, I might leave a couple dirty dishes like from breakfast, but I don't leave like, like this is going in the fridge, heads of cabbage. When I go to, I mean, it's not a hundred percent, it's not uh clean like a hospital, but okay. Cause I looked it up and it was like uh fruit flies come because you leave food out. But I mean, I don't, I don't know and they won't go away and so i've got a, some bleach and i've been pouring like a little shot of bleach down the drain i don't know what to do other than make like one of those traps that like we used to make in the restaurant to get the fruit flies but and the thing everything that i'm reading is like the okay a dirty drain okay but isn't bleach enough to clean the drain Leading food out. I don't really leave food out. I don't leave food out. Um, and a dirty sink. And I don't really think this qualifies as dirty because, again, I put my dishes, boom, boom, boom. I wipe everything down before bed, and I don't know. Benson, he does not like having that on. And especially now since I took off the bandage, He's like running, he's knocked down one, my little table by the door like three times. He hates it. But he gets his stitches out on Monday. And if everything goes well, he, we can take this off. Anyway, if you can give me, if you can tell me what I can do about this because it's driving me bananas. It just makes me feel like gross. Like I can see them like on my, I can see like... You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm looking. There's one right here. Like, there's one There's one right there. I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. But if you can give me an idea of what I could do, please tell me. Because I think it's gross, first of all. I mean, I'd, I guess I'd rather have a flu, fruit fly than a roach. I can't. I don't like roaches. <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> When Brian and I moved to Florida in, I think it was 2007, we moved down, um, I went back home, I moved, anyway, back home, and we rented a little apartment, and we were living there, we're in Florida, well, I'm from Florida, um, little town in Florida, near West Palm Beach, anyway, so I went home, uh, anyhow, we rented a little apartment, and there were roaches, like the ones that will fly Okay, like the, I know some people call them palmetto bugs, but I call them roaches. It's big, okay? And we, you know, we we're like, hey, there's roaches. What's up? You know, we called the landlord. And then the landlord was like, hey, they're, ev and I know that roaches are everywhere, but they were like, no, ro you have to get used to them. They're, they're going to be there. They're, it's Florida. There's roaches. And I was like, what? So we only lived there. We only lived I only lived in Florida when I went back for like six months. I didn't last. I came back up here. Anyway, that was terrifying. Okay. That was terrifying. I didn't like it. Anyway, but if you can give me an idea of what I can do about fruit flies, because as I'm standing here right now, there's there, yeah, there are two little fruit flies on my cabinet and there's one on the side of my fridge. And there's one over there. I'm not, I'm, I, that, that's what's happening. Fruit fly city. So please uh, give me an idea of what I can do. And please comment and let me know. Thank you very much. It's 8.53. I'm going to go ahead and close the vlog. There's Benson. I've been sleeping on the couch ever since the surgery. But when he gets his stitches out and he's able to get on the bed, then we'll go back to the bed. But it's 8.53. I am getting ready for bed. I have finished all the uh, Flowers in the Attic saga, all the books. So now I'm, I started listening to um, 
the Castile series or saga, the Castile saga. And it starts with Heaven. That's the first one. I think I'm in the, I can't remember what the second one, I just started the second one, but the first one was Heaven. Um, it's really good, but I, I read something about V.C. Andrews that uh, V.C. Andrews, and I mean, I'm not 100% on the date, but she died shortly after uh, Flowers in the Attic, like mid-80s, but she still has books being written by V.C. Andrews because the family was like, oh, Flowers in the Attic made so much money, we want to use V.C. Andrews' name. So they have like people write the books and use her name. You, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's a ghost writer or something, uh, but I read it and it was like the family wanted to, okay. So some people were saying, well, they couldn't really tell the difference in the books. And then some people were saying, well, you could really tell the difference in the books because some of them, the Flowers in the Attic saga, they weren't all. They weren't finished. The books that the, the last books were not by V.C. Andrews, and it was like by a man. So they were saying that it was more sexual, and they were. Anyway, uh, just a little tidbit. But so I wanted to listen to like V.C. Andrews, like because I went. I looked up what did what books did V.C. Andrews write? Blah 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 blah. So supposedly, if I read correctly, the Castile saga is. Um, what she she wrote. I know. I give all this important information, but that's what I'm listening to right now. And it's really good. There's Bean. I covered him up with one of my old postal shirts. My old postal shirts had like holes in them. Like I threw them out. I'm assuming I can do that, right? I don't have to like go give them back to the post office. I bought them. I threw them out. So anyway, all right, I'm going to go. I'm so sorry that the last couple of days, yeah, I didn't, I, well, I tried and it didn't, I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I really, ugh. but here we are. Okay. It's tomorrow's Friday. And then uh, Tuesday, XO and I will be heading down to Savannah, Georgia. So I'm pretty excited about that, but I am kind of, uh, nervous about that with my dumb knee um how that's going to be like driving seven hours my knee's probably going to explode but we'll see what happens anyway i hope you're having a good day benson says hello <laughs> i will talk to you tomorrow as always i will vlog again tomorrow bye everyone